Hey everybody, my name is Sheridan. Welcome to my van. I have been living in it for about a month uh, and I'm super stoked to be in it. It's getting there, so let's take a look. So this is my kitchen area. Um, I have some mountain scenes that was built by my mom, which is awesome, but sink. I have a seven gallon gray tank that is separate for the sink area. I have a five gallon fresh water tank here that I use for drinking. Um, love the sink, it's super cool. Great thing about my water system is I have electronic ball valves under my sink and my shower. So I flip a switch, it opens ball valve and I can drain my gray tank. I can also hook my gray tanks to a hose and put it directly into like an RV dump so that if I'm camping in like a campground for a long time, I can directly drain it into an RV dump. If not, I use biodegradable soap so everything can be drained um, in nature if it's not near a water source, obviously, because it's just gray water. Aside from that, I have my nice little front wall, which I love. Uh, built it just to keep out the heat and the cold. I plan to be in a lot of mountainous areas, so it really divides the temperature. Um, protection as well, you know, you can't really see the front. This is my fave though. It's a little pocket door slash work table for myself because um, I'm a digital nomad so I work a lot on my computer. I love it. It's just great space. Can kick it down, throw on my laptop and work around. Welcome to my little kitchen work area. Um, really comfortable. I'm excited for this because like I said I can work here. I can close this up and have more space if I'm cooking, I can walk around. It's actually big enough for me to lay a yoga mat and stretch. Underneath here is where I have all my food storage. So I have this divided in half. So there's two sections to lift and put storage. Uh, above me there's storage as well. Um, my van is livable, but it's not finished. So I, I've been building since last June. And um, I was building in North Dakota, winter happened. So I drove down to Florida to finish my build where my uncle lives finished uh, about a month ago and I decided I wanted to live in it for a bit before I did like the final touches like these cabinets. So I still need to make cabinet doors over here, cabinets above the bed, but I wanted to see what I wanted for it. Like if I want dividers here, if I want shelves. So that's something I've been learning the past couple weeks living in it, what I will want and need. Um, but I love the storage there, storage above. I have all my camping gear chucked up there, some blankets and everything. This is my favorite though. I love that I can lean back. I have my window here. I have another window across. They're um, motion windows from Canada. Super cool. Actually the easiest part of the build was installing these. This was the first thing I ever did was cut a hole in my van. And it's super scary. Uh, brand new van and the first thing you do is just cut the side out. <laughs> but I love it. I love the light that comes through them. Um, and it's the, my favorite thing actually. And for my electrical system, uh, I used to do electrical work in a previous life when I was way younger. But so like here, I have AC outlets, DC outlets. I actually have seven AC outlets in the vehicle. I have four DC outlets in here. So there's plenty of spaces to plug in. Um, I like that everything is kind of hidden behind my pads and accessible if I need. So it's not in the way. Um, I have a little reading lamp here. I have 28 LED lights in the vehicle. They are on four different circuits. I have a hallway light, I have a work area light, a kitchen light, and a bedroom light, and a shower light system. So a lot of light in here for nighttime. They're all dimmable. They're on dimmer switches. Um, love it though. I'm a, I'm a fan of light. I do photography so I need good light when I'm editing, working on my computer. Aside from that, the rest of my electrical, I have an air conditioner. It's a Furion. I picked it because it takes low, it has a low start. So it doesn't take a lot of current draw right away when it starts up. But otherwise I haven't needed to use it yet. You know, not too many warm climates where I've been so far. If I do use it, I will plug into shore power because it drains a lot of power. Um, a cool part about it as well is if I don't want to use it for an air conditioner, it's a fan. So I can use it as a, as a fan to complement my max air fan that I have in the back if I want more airflow.
So this has been a dream of mine ever since I was young. Like I grew up camping, nature, love it. You know, there's not a lot of nature in North Dakota. I mean, there is, but not like mountains or forests. Um, so when I decided to actually commit to van life, um, it was scary, but also exhilarating at the same time. Cause it's like, this has been my dream for so long and now I finally get to do it. <clears throat> um, so before this though, before van life, I was a travel blogger, photographer, and I've been living abroad since 2013. Um, on and off, I've been living in different countries out of a backpack, exploring the world, and I loved it. I love the adventure part. Um, I came home during the 2020 pandemic. So COVID kind of set me home. It you know changed my life a bit like it did for everyone. Um, so I came home from being away and I was kind of sitting there deciding like, okay, now what am I going to do? Um, I can't be a travel blogger right now because of what's going on. It's not safe to do it. It's not right to do it, to travel or go abroad or anything. So then I really kind of looked inward and I kind of figured like, okay, what's important to me? You know, what have I loved to do? And I love nature. I love hiking. I love trails. And I have yet to experience any of that in the United States, in Canada. So I was like, okay, I want to actually go for my dream now. Um, one thing I wanted in this build was a big fridge so I could live off grid for a week at a time, not have to worry about it. I have a Norcold, it's like 10 cubic feet or something. So massive freezer, um, massive fridge. This is actually chalkboard that um, I painted so I can draw on it if I want. Love the space. I can have all the snacks and food in there. I have a Greystone oven and stovetop. I guess there's three burners and an oven. Um, both of these things are actually found at a surplus store, which is cool. Um, aside from that, I have a nice storage shelf with my blender. Broke my jaw a few years ago, had it wired shut for nine weeks um, when I was in Thailand. So I've been addicted to smoothies and soft foods ever since. Blender, a little food storage. Underneath, I have my Propex heater. So um, I haven't really needed to use it because I have a lot of insulation in the van, but this heater is super nice. I can just flip on a switch and it pumps out amazing heat. Have a carbon monoxide detector. Over here is my little electrical wall. I have an outlet. Um, these are my ball valve switches that I was talking about earlier so I could drain my tanks. Um, I have a fan switch for my composting toilet. And then I also have a switch for my water pump to turn my water pump on and off. Thermometer for my air conditioner. And then this actually is the levels of my water that I have. So my gray, my shower, and my fresh tank. Little Victron um, electrical thing there to check the status of my batteries, but I mostly use the app but that's another easy thing to look if you wanna see how much power you have left. These are my mugs. This is my brand, Outside Vibes. It's one of my businesses that I have. This is my outdoor blog and little nature brand. It's going to be a full shelf. I'm gonna attach my national park little postcards I've been collecting. So I've been to two parks so far on this trip that I've started and I can't wait to just kinda of add more along the way, which is fun. But I love these mugs, they're, they're so cool. I was debating whether or not to get the like sliding self-retracting door that everybody has in the videos, but I opted out for this cool little flip out bar for when I'm showering. Um, gives me a lot more space, I believe, and a little protection, not protection, but like coverage, I guess. So like down here is just heaps of storage underneath. I don't even know what to do with it yet. I plan to like finish out cabinet doors in the front. But as of right now, it's just like my little storage shelf for my pots, pans, dishes and everything, um, laundry, have an extra little chair on the wall for my table that I can pop down when I have guests coming to visit. Um, composting toilet, I love it. It's the air head. Got a couple little racks in my shower head and yeah, it's nice. It fits perfect for me. Welcome to the bedroom area. I have a short queen mattress that's six inches thick. Uh, super comfy, I love it. I can actually stretch out. I'm 6'1", and I can fit my full length this way here, which is awesome. Um, because I specifically built it 
so it's like a little inwards you know i have this nice little mountain scene that's hidden here all well, kind of hidden because my bags and everything but the van is long enough for me to lay straight and not have to worry about it back here i have my bedroom lights i have my max air fan um, remote and everything my switches i have an AC outlet and two DC plugs on this side. There's an AC outlet over here. This is actually the controls for my heater, my Propex heater. So if I'm laying in bed and I'm cold, I can just pop a switch and that thing will turn on and pump out the heat. Little shelf to get to my water system in case there's an ever a leak for my shower. I can take it off and take it apart right there. Let me turn my heater off. Um, I have a window here kind of hidden behind my pillows, but I like that I can stick my head out. I have a window on the back door. Um, otherwise, a little bit of hanging stuff. And, you know, in a little bit, when I'm, you know, building again, I would love to make cabinets here. That's the plan, which is another thing, because I thought I'd have cabinets on both sides, but living in it, I do not want cabinets by my head. So I will just make cabinets over here a little bigger. Um, also on this side is, access to my electrical system so this is my inverter converter it's a uh, victron and i love this little screen because i can turn it off and on if i want so if i'm not using my ac at all i turn that off not for the fact that it, it doesn't draw much power but it produces noise and heat so you know i only use ac if i'm plugging in my computer or if i'm doing my blender otherwise i turn that thing off because i don't need it Uh, so myself, I am a travel writer, I am a travel photographer, lifestyle photographer. I have my own travel blog and brand called Outside Vibes, so outsidevibes.com. I also have an outdoor clothing brand, coffee, that I'm building up right now called Adventure. So ADV NTR, so I sell my own coffee, my own merchandise, and I'm, you know, I'm just a person that's geared toward nature and I enjoy it and I'm trying to encompass my work around that. So it's been kind of a, a big thing going to be this digital nomad lifestyle. So that's something that I've been doing the past handful of years. Um, I used to work in the electrical industry, like I've mentioned, and I wanted to change. So I quit that career. I went back to my roots of photography and design because I also went to university for that, but I dropped out to switch to electrical. Um, so once I quit that, I left home, started backpacking the world became like a cheap backpacker and then I was so hooked. I was like, okay, how can I make this into a career? So I've self-built kind of all my brands and businesses. I've retaught myself like, you know, how to do this digital world and how to like survive and become a digital nomad. So that's what I've been doing the past few years is I've been a digital nomad running my different businesses, doing social media work, writing for other clients, um, photography and web design. And it's, it's been great. And that's something I'm continuing to do, but I'm, you know, going to put a lot, or I am putting a lot more effort into my own stuff instead of working for other brands, but it's, it's a great lifestyle and it's something that I really like. And that's another reason why I have this van because it's, it's still encompassing that travel life, but yet it's more of a home base. So I'm a bit older now than I was when I was a backpacker, just bopping around. So I can have nice little home, I can have little roots if I want, and yet I can still kind of kick it to a mountain if I feel like it. This is my garage area. Uh, plan is to kind of frame up and out and up and out over here when I'm done building the van. But for now, I just wanted to live in it and get into nature and explore. Um, but I love it already. I mean, it's so cool. There's so much space down here. So everything I have in here is kind of my little gem and precious area. Um, I just, I have a blast doing things. So I loved hooking up the electrical. I loved hooking up the water. And it's just, it was so unique to do and I'm excited for it. So what I have going on is for electrical, I have four 100 amp hour batteries that go into a 3000 watt converter inverter. Um, my power comes from a 370 watt 
solar panel. I have a single solar panel, so one massive one that actually lifts up. So I can have it lift up if I want to get more sun, if I'm facing, you know, west, which way is, yeah, west. Um, that all goes into a Victron converter. I have a 50 amp converter, which will then take the solar to the batteries. Otherwise, I also charge via shore power through a plug back over here. And I charge off my alternator with a Sterling uh, B2B converter while I'm driving. All of that keeps me topped up and there is, the lithium has been amazing. Um, I haven't even run low, not even close to low with it. I'm quite a nerd, like I said, with electrical. So I have actually extra parts in here that most people don't do. So I have um, little low voltage protection um, battery protectors. So if my lithium ever drained too low, it would cut off the power immediately. So I don't completely drain my batteries, which I really like because, um, you know, I haven't needed yet. But if something ever happened, I don't ruin my nice batteries uh, have a little bit of storage um, this is where all my water and everything lives i have a backdoor shower here so if i want to shower outside i can hook that up and my water system's dope because i can hook it up to like um, an rv place or like a campsite water or house and just use that and not actually draw water from my freshwater tank or i can fill and use my 30 gallon freshwater tank um to do it and i also have like a drain valve and everything so it's fun that was something new to do i have tank sensors like i mentioned before on all my tanks so i know what level they are i can just hit a button and see how full they are but otherwise that is kind of the garage area welcome to the party area aka the chill roof now this is the lounge this is where i will catch all the cool sunsets pop my drone off take my camera get some good angles um I love my roof deck. It's, it was a pain to make. Uh, my dad actually welded it together. So props to him and thank him. He, I don't weld, he put it all together. And I'm so stoked at how it turned out. It's amazing. There's plenty of space to like, just lay down, catch some sun or just watch a beautiful sunset in like this dope nature that we're in, you know? Um, but up here, as you can see, I have my Max Air fan my air conditioner and this is my favorite the solar panel so my system this is the 370 watt solar panel i have these cool little pins to hold it down but otherwise um, if i'm chilling in one spot for a long time i just give her a little lift and she tilts up collects that extra sunlight charges me up and otherwise when i'm driving i just push it down uh, pop my pins in and we're good to go Well, thanks for my little tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Sheridan again. Uh, you can find me at Outside Vibes on socials or outsidevibes.com. And I'm excited for this little life. Let's have some fun on the road. See ya.